What's up guys, JQ with Tech Creation, back with another video. So now voice assistant apps aren't anything new. We first saw Siri with iOS, and then we saw Google Now for the Android operating system. And we recently took a look at Cortana for Windows phones. But now there's a new kit on the block, available for both Android and iOS. And it's called Hound, developed by the makers of the app SoundHound. So this is SoundHound's answer to the whole voice assistant's battle. So let's see how it stacks up against Google Now. Let's get started. So as I mentioned, this app is developed from the same makers of SoundHound. So currently, Hound is in beta and is available via invite only. So once you download it, you have to request an invite code, and it takes about one or two days to receive it. This app is beautifully designed. It has a little bit of Google's material design language, and the UI elements are gorgeous. It's very simple, intuitive, and it offers basically what you'd expect from any voice assistant. It pulls data from all types of sources, but its basic web search results come from the search engine Bing. So Hound is coined as the natural voice assistant, meaning you don't have to speak in a fragmented or robotic tone because it's designed to have the ability to comprehend a detailed set of commands all at once, none like we've ever seen before. For example, okay Hound, find me the nearest four star hotel under $400 that has a pool and is pet friendly. Showing five results with four stars for maximum of 400 US dollars per night sorted by distance that have a swimming pool and are pet friendly. Very, very impressive. Okay, Hound. Find me the nearest Japanese restaurant in walking distance from Times Square. Here are several results within 1.5 miles of Times Square sorted by distance. Whereas if you try this with Google Now, it doesn't necessarily work. Okay Google, find me the nearest 4 star hotel under $400 that has a pool and is pet friendly. And as you can see, it just cuts me off. It doesn't, it doesn't handle that long of a command. Okay Google, find me the nearest Japanese restaurant in walking distance from Times Square. Catch the one you want. As you can see, these restaurants certainly aren't in walking distance from Times Square. So I wasn't able to pick up the second part that I asked for. Okay, Hound. What is the monthly mortgage payment for a $500,000 home with 35% down? Is $500,000 the mortgage principal or the home value? That is the mortgage principal. Okay, using a mortgage principal of $500,000, what is the mortgage period? 30 years. Okay, using a mortgage period of 30 years, what is the interest rate? 3%. Okay, using an interest rate of 3%, your monthly mortgage payment is $2,108.02. So from that example, you can see is able to handle very complex and detailed instructions. It's almost as if I was speaking to a human, the questions was kicking back to me. So that's the sort of experience you can expect to have using Hound. I can't help but feel that Hound is a little too smart for its own good because it has trouble with the most simplest tasks that Google now just blows away. For example, okay Google, how tall is the Empire State Building? The Empire State Building is 1,250 feet tall. Okay Hound, how tall is the Empire State Building? Showing search results for, how tall is the Empire State Building? Okay, Google. Who is the President of the United States? Barack Obama is the President of the United States of America. Okay, Hound. Who is the President of the United States? Showing search results for, who is the President of the United States? So as you can see from the earlier examples, you would expect Hound to be able to handle such simple commands like this, but it doesn't. Then again, it's still in beta, so give it some time, but this is by far the best beta app I've ever seen, even better than Google Now was in its beta phase. I'm really eager to see how this thing evolves and if we'll even see it baked into the operating systems of future smartphones. And I'm very impressed with the algorithms that Hound uses to understand multiple conditions in a single command. Definitely the best I've ever seen. 
Now will Hound replace Google Now entirely? I highly doubt it. Only because Google Now has a lot more years under its belt, it's integrated well into the Android operating system, and it has a few tricks up its sleeve that Hound isn't nearly capable of doing. For example, if you're standing in front of the Empire State Building, all you have to do is queue up Google Now and say, how tall is this building? And Google Now will automatically know which building you're talking about based on your location. And seriously, that's just scratching the surface of how creepy and smart Google Now can actually be. All right, guys, I'll drop a link below to the Play Store. Feel free to play around with it and let me know how it works for you. And now remember, it's still in beta, so it's on invite only basis. So once you download the app, you have to request an invite. And it doesn't take no more than two days to get it. So just be patient. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Oh, you have until July 5th, 5 p.m. to enter the giveaway for the Moto 360. So if you click this link on top, it'll take you straight to the giveaway and it'll give you all the details you need. Good luck, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.